So what is going on, everybody? My name is Joel, aka Orb, and the PC community recently, as in yesterday, got mod tools to be able to use, download, and explore. And a lot of people have been really excited for mod tools for a really long time, but obviously it's a little late to the party with the mod tools. So today, in today's episode, we are going to talk about mod tools, what to expect, what you can get. Is it too late? Is it actually too late? Have they waited too long with the release in these mod tools? All of these questions, will be answered in today's episode. So if you are excited, hit that like button and let's begin. So in terms of what you can get in the new mod tools, that is literally sky's the limit. You can add whatever you want. You can add, remove, tinker with. You can do everything if you're creative and good enough. Obviously, I'm going to be one of those people that only use the product instead of actually creating with said product. I don't have a creative bone in my body, really, which is kind of not a good thing, I guess, when you're a content creator such as myself. But I have just never really been good with this type of stuff. Uh, but I would love to see what the community can actually create and come up with and I hope this is gonna turn into like a community thing where people chip in and they help one another to create really really amazing game modes and maps and all this stuff to actually prolong the life of Black Ops 3 because now we're coming towards the you know the beginning of Infinite Warfare and Call of Duty for a Master so a big player base a big chunk of the player base is going to jump over to the new COD this obviously always happens when a new COD comes out because everybody is interested in checking out new content and new stuff now obviously we have been promised mod tools for a really long time we were promised spring of 2016 or early 2016 now we're in almost late 16 we're in september so a lot of people have been holding their breaths a lot of people have been forgetting about the mod tools was even promised to us and i'm actually happy to see when people are vocal about things because if we get promised something we should absolutely get it delivered now i'm all for delaying a product if the product is not ready for consumption and for use uh, you don't want to release mod tools and, you know, mod tools being broken, it's being unfinished, so people can't actually use the product. I do believe that delaying a product in order for it to, to come to a level of stability, I think that's really important, but I really haven't heard a lot of talk about delaying the product. Obviously, I've heard something from Pizza Dev on Twitter, but that's about it. So anyways, I'm, I'm just really happy we're finally gonna get to dive in and try it out. Currently on screen, we're watching some Kill House action. Uh, I was playing some Shipment earlier, which is gonna be fun. I can't wait. I want a 1v1 Tabes straight off the bat with sniping on Shipment. That is gonna be one hell of a showdown. So Tabes, if you're listening to this, uh, I'm challenging you. And if you're watching this and you followed Tabes, I want you to tweet him saying, or just challenge you to a 1v1 sniper battle black ops 3 shipment so as of right now we only have a few maps available for download like i said we have kill house we have shipment we have some other maps uh most of it seemed pretty unfinished once again this released yesterday so you can only imagine what the community can do with some time on their hands but i'm actually really excited as a content creator being able to play old school maps on the black ops 3 engine would be amazing and just reliving old maps uh dragging in old guns from other call of duties the, the cod 4 deagle for instance you can drag in the mp7 from modern warfare 3 you can do so many things with the mod tools that we have so just with time i think we're gonna see some really really amazing things hopefully come out of this and hopefully that will actually prolong the life of black ops 3 and it might actually keep a big chunk of the community um that will kind of knock go over maybe some people will try the new call of duty and then come back because you know obviously we're probably not going to get that good of an engine uh compared to the treyarch engine i just usually think treyarch engines are a little bit better for pc consumption of call of duty but my friends with that said that is actually going to wrap up today's video the question of the day and i want you guys to let me know in the comment section right now just put down a comment down below what do you think of mod tools on pc is this something you're gonna try out and check out are you interested in it are you actually gonna dive in there and create something on your own or are you gonna do just like me and actually just use it for consumption what are your thoughts and general opinion on mod tools definitely let me know in the comments section down below but my friends that will be it rate comment do your thing and i will catch you guys in the next one later Bye bye